panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo, Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan, Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya, Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw, Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita, Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pag-ukulan ng higit na pansin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. 
with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him, because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory, through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you had confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can rank with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the sons of God? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name, they rejoice all day, and through your justice, they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. Proclaim Christ crucified. He is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons and they will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Today, we are celebrating the Feast of Saint Mark. Kaya ako nakapula ngayon. He is popularly known as one of the writers of the four Gospels. He is regarded to be an apostle, pero labas siya dun sa dosing apostoles. Dahil isa na siya sa mga bunga ng mga gawa ng mga apostoles. He is believed to be a disciple of who? Saint Peter. No? Disipulo siya ni Saint Peter. Si San Pedro ang nagturo sa kanya. And it is also said that in one of the missionary journeys, no? many, many missionary journeys of Saint Paul, kasama rin niya si Saint Mark no? sa kanyang pagpapahayag ng mabuting balita. Kung titingnan natin at susuriin ang kanyang sinulat, no? he himself wrote it, yung kanyang sinulat sa apat na ibanghelyo, no? comparing it to the other three, sa kanya yung, if we may say, pinaka-original. No? Sa kanya rin yung pinaka-maikli. And what is somewhat remarkable in what he has written is his focus on the discipleship. No? Yung kanyang pagtutuo ng pansin, pag-highlight, no? pag-underscore, dun sa pagiging tagasunod ni Kristo sa pamamagitan ng suffering at sa pamamagitan ng pagbabata ng krus. No? Yung kanyang sinulat, much more, if we may say, very raw. No? And if we can also say, no, very original dun sa inspiration ng mga apostoles. And of course, apostoles kay Jesus. No? And so, even if it is short, no, the magnitude of it, no, the seriousness of it is really um, highlighted kung paano ba kailangan natin seryosohin ang pagiging disipulo ni Jesus. We are left with His final message no? na narinig natin dito sa Ebanghelyo ngayon. And what was the final message? Preach the gospel. What is the final message of St. Mark in his gospel? Magpahayag ng mabuting balita. And, we, uh, and with all seriousness, seriousness no? we are all invited to do so because we regard ourselves to be what? Disciples of Jesus. Pero paano nga ba magpahayag ng mabuting balita? Paano nga ba mas ma-actualize no, ang mensahe sa atin ni Jesus sa pamamagitan ng mga disipulo niya, sa pamamagitan ng mga apostoles niya? No? Paano nga ba? Siguro niisip niyo, kagaya niyo dyan, Father, nandiyan kayo sa pulpito, no? nagpapahayag ako. Well, True enough, no? 
I am doing this. No? Pero ang mas pangangailangan, mas kinakailangan siguro, bukod pa dun sa pagpapahayag, bukod pa dun sa doing the lip service, is what? Doing also the walking. Yung sinasabing, walk the talk. Sa pagpapahayag natin ang mabuting balita, we should also bear witness to it. Ano ibig sabihin nun, Father? Minsan, hindi na kailangan ng salita, actually. Nakikita na lang sa saan? Gawa. That's so much more of, you know, preaching, preaching, talking, talking. No? We see it first by the very actions no, that we do. Once I remember when we visited um, when I was post when I was postulant in the formation, we visited our monks, no? our Augustinian contemplative monks in Bulacan. No? And while we went there, no, it is parang customary that we are asked no, to be assigned to one of the monks, their sisters, para maging prayer partner namin, no? para makapag persevere kami. No? And as we go along the way, no, ng aming conversations, no. May isang brother na nagtanong, Sister, what can you um, tell us no, as your parting message no, sa amin? Because we are to go down na, babalik na dito sa Manila. No? Sabi niya, Well, I don't have any message with you. No? Perhaps our very message is our lives. No? Ang pagiging monks, ang pagiging disipulo ni Jesus. And one famous saint, no? Saint Francis of Assisi, has also said this. No? He, this this quotation is famously regarded to him: no? "Preach the gospel, and if necessary, use words. Preach the gospel, and if necessary, use words." And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, for this mass. On the feast of Saint Mark, let us beg God's intervention and the intercession of the saints, especially Saint Mark, that we may continue you know, to do what the apostles were told to do, you know, to preach the gospel, to share the gospel of love, to preach his message of salvation through suffering, discipleship, and the cross. If we experience these sufferings, the cross, no? itong discomfort, no? then totoo nga na pinapahayag natin ang mabuting balita sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay saksi natin sa Ebanghelyo sa pagiging legit, authentic, hindi fake na mga Kristiyano. Dahil atin itong isinasa buhay. Amen. Please stand. Mark proclaimed the good news of the true Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Let us ask the Father to hear our intentions for a world in need of the hope of the gospel. In every prayer we all say, Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That the church may be a living sign to true concern and dedicated care for those who are rejected by our society. Let us pray to the Lord. 
let your goodness be upon us, Lord, that those who wandered away from the paths of righteousness may hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your goodness be upon us, Lord, that young people may hear the voice of our Lord, calling them to conversion and to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord, that all those who are suffering or sick may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord that the dead may pass through the gate of sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of our, their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your goodness, goodness be upon us, Lord. Almighty God, assisted by the prayers of St. Mark, faithful herald of the gospel, we bring our intentions before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, getting out, crying out as they as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Mark, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, worthy not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only, but say, only the say the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.